Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to close out running applications on your iPhone 5 or any device running iOS 6. It can definitely help save the battery life on your device and it can also help speed it up a little bit depending on what applications you're running. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so here I am with my iPhone 5, and in order to quit an app on my iPhone 5, I'm just going to unlock it, and the first thing I need to know how to do is how to access all of my running apps. So to do that, all we need to do is double click on our home button here at the bottom. So I'm going to do that, double click, and you'll notice this row of apps appears at the bottom. These are all the running apps on my phone right now. So currently the Weather Channel app, Facebook, the phone app, Photos, Maps, and Gmail are all running on my phone. So in order to quit these apps, what I need to do is with this bottom row open, if I just click and hold on one of the apps, you'll notice that they all start bouncing around and a little minus symbol appears at the top left. So to quit one of these apps, all I have to do is click on the minus symbol. So if I want to quit Gmail, just click on the little minus symbol. If I want to quit Photos, click on the minus symbol. And that's definitely going to increase the battery life of your phone and depending on what apps are running, it also might increase the speed of your phone. Now I want to show you a couple other cool things. First of all, when you see the minus symbol appear at the top left, if you want to stop quitting apps, just hit the home button again and that minus symbol will appear. And if you want to get out of this bottom row, you can then hit the home button again and it will take you back to your home page. But I want to show you something else about this bottom row. I'm just going to double click. First of all, this is a really useful way to quickly jump from one app to another. So if I'm in the map app and I say, okay, I want to go to the weather channel app, instead of going to my home screen and going to the weather app, I can simply double click, find the weather app in my lower toolbar, click on it and go directly to the weather app. I can then double click again and go back to my maps app. So it's a real quick way to go back and forth between apps. And then there's one other really cool feature of this bottom row of running apps. And that is if I double click on it and I go to the left, you'll notice that I have a quick access to my iTunes. And this will always be accessible. This, isn't, this doesn't mean that iTunes is running, it's just a quick way to access it. And then if I go left one more, I have access to the volume on my phone. So I know a lot of people who their volume buttons on the left side have actually broken uh, and they didn't know how to change the volume on their phone. So I simply showed them that they can use this volume control right here to change their volume and it definitely solved the problem for them. So this is a very useful feature, um, should definitely help you improve the battery life on your iPhone and increase the efficiency while using your iPhone. So I hope this helped. If it did, go ahead and please give a thumbs up on the video here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.